All righty. Well, there was an opening shot that might kind of upset yeah. your bowl of Cheerios this, <laughs> this is a, morning. That's an odd cat. This is an odd cat. This is a Sphinx. It, this is Ernie. And they are unusual cats. You know, if you're allergic to cats, this is a great cat to get. No hair, genetically. No hair. And but it's uh, a breed. It, this isn't just an oddball cat. No, that no, it's out, a yeah. breed, and it's really cool, and it's an unusual cat to touch. It's, it's very odd. Now, what if that breeds with a cat that's got hair? What do you wind up with? One with a receding hairline? Or? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but that's a good question. That's a good question. I, I You know, I'll look that up, and I'll figure that out. Okay. I've never thought about Next that. Next week, we'll yeah. try to have an answer. Yeah, to yeah. So which, what's dominant, the hair or the hairless, or do they come out with patches? It's a sphinx. It's a sphinx, yeah. A sphinx. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Hey, um, I wanted to talk about something really quickly. This is a, a drug, uh, Interceptor or Sentinel. This particular drug is something that a lot of people use for heartworm prevention and worms. Um, this drug is temporarily going to have problems with production. The company uh, is having problems making it. So the supply that's out there is good stuff. It's not a recall. It works. It's great. It's actually one of my favorite drugs. But, but you're going to have to leave the shelves for a it's while. It's going to leave the shelves. You're going to have trouble getting it. So my suggestion is if you use Interceptor or Sentinel, go to your veterinarian, get a year's supply. The company is going to get it back on the market. They just yeah. have to figure out how to get there. Now, if you run out and can't find it, can you swip, swap to something else and still be have the protection? You can, but talk to your talk to your veterinarian. Go through the vet to yeah, take yeah. care of it. Okay. Anyway, it's a great drug. Okay. A couple of questions here. Yeah. What about cats, be sphinx or whatever? Nice. My new kitten is four months old. Mm. When is a good time to spay the kitten? Uh, look, you know, you want them to be immunologically competent. You want them to be dewormed. You want them to have their vaccines. But but four months is a good age. Four months is a great age to start. So the sooner, the better. Uh -huh. Is yeah. it ever too late? No, no, it's never too late, and it's advisable. It yeah, it is absolutely advisable. If you've ever had a cat in heat, you know it's never too late. Okay, they are, <laughs> they are rough. All right, <laughs> and one, one quick yeah. one here. My six-year-old female lab is showing signs of hip dysplasia. What kind of supplements can I give her? Is it all right to give her baby aspirin? You know what? I, I, I think there, there are better alternatives than baby aspirin. And as far as the supplements are concerned, the answer is yes. But let me put a caveat on there. Get it x-rayed, get it diagnosed, and talk to your veterinarian about what supplements might be effective. Because if you have really bad hip dysplasia, if it's really arthritic, the supplements aren't going to be enough, and aspirin's not going to be enough. Okay, Yeah. check with the vet. Yeah. Uh, Kim, thanks for joining us My this pleasure. morning. We'll see you next week. All and right. more is coming up in just a minute. Stick around. See you later.